Hi everyone, it's Marissa from Maryvale Scraps. I'm coming back with another another video in English to show you a mini album that I made. Um, well, it's not so mini, it's kind of big, as you can see. Uh, how much has this got? It's about it's ten and a half inches, slightly longer, but either way. Um, I watched a video by. Um, Laura Dennison at Following the Paper Trail, where she did her Bypass mini album. She used a small envelope, so her album came to about here. Um, I used the, some bigger envelopes. I wanted my album nice and big. And um, I used the size that we have here in Portugal. It's called C5, which is a pretty big envelope. Um, and I used her, her sort of her design, and I did the big envelopes, I came up with this nice big um, nice big album with nice big pages. I used her binding technique with the clips. I actually like that quite a lot. Uh, it's a very interesting binding method. And I used some gold um, satin ribbon. Um, for the cover, if the cover is the only thing that's really nicely decorated inside the pages, I'd left them quite blank and I only used some trims for, for decorations and that's what I would like to show in the, in the album. But just to show you the cover, of course I used some Iron Roses flowers, um, I used the R21 in so like a light lavender, like the lilac, I used the black over there and I used the purple. This is a purple. The lighting is bad. It looks blue, but it's nice dark purple. And then I used some. These are the. Oopsie, sorry, bumped the camera there. Bumped it again. <laughs> these are the R3s. Okay, they're that big. They're slightly bigger than the R2s. The R3s, they are like. They are a like a khaki colour. Um, it's not a beige, but it's a dirty beige. I actually like it quite a lot. Used three on this side, two there, and three again on this side here. And then I used the R2s in the dark colours, which were the blacks. Got a little R2 there and a little R2 there. And then here I used uh, the R2s in blue, maroon, blue, maroon, blue. It's like a bluey grey. They look very blue here in the lighting, but it's like a blue grey. And then here I used another two R R two in black. The believe them. I have some um, skeleton leaves. You can't see them because they're almost the same colour as the paper. Here I used the the pink and brown um, leaves, which are my favourites. And again, skeleton leaves on the side. Here you can actually see a skeleton leaf here. And then trim. Now these trims that I have in my album, um, first let me just show you this trim here. I bought this from, I got this from um, Fiona, she's Fiona Jennings. I'm sure everyone knows Fiona Jennings um, from England. You can just do a YouTube search for Jennings and you'll find her YouTube channel. Um, she gave me this uh, beaded trim, very, very cool. It's got some transparent beads and black beads. I thought that was excellent for this album since it is basically um, black and white. Well, initially, initially it was supposed to be black and white because I was using the Prima papers, the um, printery Prima papers, and I put some halfback pearls. They are like a grey colour, grey metallic colour, just in the corners there. And then the trim. Let's just get the flowers out of the way. The trim. This is more to show you the trims in this album because I'm. The album's pretty simple and the trims are just absolutely gorgeous. These trims are handmade. I have a lady that I, a lady that I know up in Porto um, that she makes she makes these trims. I send her I send her some of the trims that I buy at my local fabric shop shop or that uh, I get in swaps from the states or from England. And I said, can you can you do something similar? And she just um, she sends me a whole bunch of things that she she can um, make, like you know she can she can quite copy. If it is if it is correct, the correct way to say she can copy them. 
but it's not quite copy. She does it her own way, but um, they come out fantastic. And this is just one of them that I decided to put on the cover. It's got black and um, then it's a uh, beige and black flowers with pearls on them. I kind of just thought that was very, very well made for the cover. And then, um, I, as I said, I saw this on Laura Donaldson's um, Ustream class where she made her Bypass album. So my Bypass album is a little bit big or bigger. <laughs> this would be <clears throat> sorry, this would be one envelope, so you can see how big they are. And then that would be the other envelope back here, where it opens up back there. So, oopsie daisy, and I've got my Iron Roses stems on my jersey again. Okay. <clears throat> so the papers I used in this album were supposed to be all printery. Okay, you've got another paper printery here. But, because the, when you open up this side, when you have to put the paper, page on this on this side of the envelope you have to push it inside a little bit and then that would give me this whole space here without paper um, my printery papers were eight by eight just by the way so um, I had to put some cardstock in it did not like that at all and this one I, t I um, just put some some trim again the lady made me, um, this is more of the trim that the, that the lady in Porto made me and it covered up it covered up nicely, but um, I decided to stop using my eight by eight papers uh, here. So the, basically, I have another about one or two pages um, with a printer, and then I started using my 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 um, King Company twelve by twelve. So another trim right there, and then just a simple one. This may look like I think we call this maybe chiffon, and this I just distressed with my um, walnut stone. And then here on this side, I have. Oops. She made me. Let me put it this way. She made me like a, those those um, rosette trims, flower trims. Very very nice. This is really really nice, like a shabby shabby chic um, style of material. Made a cool rose there. <clears throat> and then she one little trim over here, just to cover up that. Um, Space where I had no, where the printery paper doesn't um, come to the edge. And over here, I started with my Cane Company 12 by 12 stack. It's that, that, that huge paper stack with the 360 papers. Another trim here. This is the black on the bottom, and I got the chiffon. Another bl little black one, and the pearls over it. And then down here, another black chiffon with a um, strip of silver, silver satin um, ribbon. And that one's got no trim. That one's just got another trim over there. And this has got a trim over here. It's like more like a um, yellowy green, or rather a gold. Okay, it's like a soft gold. And then over here, I just got this one over here. This is more brown and blue trim with some brown white flowers and brown beads. I like that one a lot. And then there's another chiffon one here that I just stickled in the middle because it didn't have anything in the middle. And then I have this one on the last page. Let me see if I can get it without the light, without blurring. There we go. Ooh, almost got it. We can see. Oh, I'm trying to get this right there. Um, this is another of the swirl roses. Uh, there we go. There you can see it there. Um, I shall also made just with a little bead in the in the center. Okay. And then I'm back with the printery paper here. And on the last page, of course, that's, I'm sure everyone recognizes these pages, these papers here. This is the Tim Holtz stack. And the one in the front, behind the front cover, this one here is also from the same um, stack from Tim Holtz. So basically, this is the album. Um, I know I didn't decorate much in the, in, in the inside, because my idea for the inside was, well, first it was to put, to just put frames 
in the whole album and then later on stick the photos in. But then I decided not to do that because I didn't know how many frames I should put or how big the frames should be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going, when I print my um, photos out, I'm going to print the photo the size, or almost the size of the page. That's so going to be a nice big photo to cover, to cover the whole page. Um, and then I will decorate the photo um, half on, half off the photo. I've seen it. Be, I've seen it done. I've never, I've never done that before, but I have seen it done. I think it looks fabulous. So I will. I am going to try that out, and just stick a big photo on and decorate half on, half off, and see how that comes out. So this will be basically for photos, nice, nice big photos, and um, so that I didn't have much decoration inside the album, and just with the trims, and I think that would be just perfect for nice big photos. And um, well, that's my album, and the back is just some plain um, black cardstock, nothing, nothing complicated there. So, well, that's my album, um, inspired by Laura Donaldson, <laughs> and I uh, hope you liked it, and uh, please leave a comment. Thanks.